Assalamu alaikum. This is Rayan Arab recording for the Daily Reminder. What is the reason we go through different modes in life? Why are there times when we have so much motivation to complete a specific task and times when this motivation just fades away and we don't want to do anything anymore? Why? Why are there times when we take out these sticky note papers and, and write exactly what we want to do, when we want to do it, where we want to do it, how we want to do it, why we want to do it. Then a day comes when we look at the sticky note paper and when we look at it, we look at it as if it's a big pink monster. We don't want to see it anymore. Why? Did you ever ask yourself this question? Remember the times I used to read the Quran for like an hour a day? Why did I stop? I was doing good. Or did you ask yourself this? Remember the times I used to help the poor people without them even asking? What happened to me? I was doing good. Why did I stop? You were doing good. You were doing good. You were doing good. Why did you stop? You were doing good. You were doing good. You see, the problem here is that you forgot. You forgot that doing good does you good. So you stopped doing good and you started telling yourself, you were doing good. You were doing good. You were doing good. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he used to say, Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qalbi ala deenak. Oh Allah. Turner of hearts, turn my heart firm upon your religion. Um Salama, the wife of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, she was standing nearby and she said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, is this for everybody? Does this apply? This this dua that you said, it, does it apply to everybody or is it only for you? The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Indeed, our our hearts are between two fingers of Allah's fingers. He turns them around as He wishes. Now, I'm not demonstrating Allah's fingers. Allah, may He be exalted. His fingers are far, uh, way different than my fingers. But what I'm trying to say is that our fingers, exactly what the Prophet ﷺ said is, our hearts are between two fingers of Allah's fingers. He turns them around as He wishes. Today, you may be doing really good. You know, you have that high level of faith and, and you're up here. Tomorrow, you're probably not doing as well. You go back down here and you know, you're not praying on time or you're slacking off a little bit. Then the next day, you're doing good again. You start praying on time, you're praying Qiyam al you're praying Fajr on any masjid and you're doing all these good things. Bil al-Walidayn, you're being good to your parents, dutiful, you're giving sadaqah and all this. And then another day comes when you completely like slack off and you stop doing everything. All you do is like pray five times a day and not even on time. So it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. Did you ever uh, go to the hospital and visit a sick person and you saw that machine where the heart pulse rate is going up and down, up and down, up and down? It's the same thing. When, you, when we do good, we go up. Then when we slack off, we go down. Then we do good, we go up. Tit, 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 just like that. And that's healthy, that's okay. There's no problem with that. If, 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 if you get back on track as soon as you slack off, that's okay. But where is the big problem? The big problem is when we do good and then we slack off and we do good and we slack off and then we continue to slack off until we die. That is the big problem. Just like the machine. Tit, 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 tit. That means he's dead. Alright, so that is the problem. We have to get back on track. Every time we start slacking off, we have to get back on track and start doing good. And remember that Allah Azza wa said in the glorious Quran, يُثَبِّتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِالْقَوْلِ الثَّابِتِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ وَيُضِلُّ اللَّهُ الظَّالِمِينَ وَيَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ مَا يَشَاءُ يُثَبِّتُ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا بِالْقَوْلِ الثَّابِتِ فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ Allah holds firm those who believe with the word that stands firm in this dunya and in the hereafter. He holds them firm. Meaning that He holds you firm with the word that stands firm in this dunya by saying La ilaha illallah before you die. And He holds you firm in the hereafter in the grave when the angels come to ask you, you get to, you get to answer the questions. My Lord is Allah. Uh, my religion is Islam. The Prophet Muhammad is my Prophet. He was my messenger. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. You get to answer these questions. That way you were held firm in the dunya and in the hereafter. Thabatul akhirah, holding firm in the here life. In order for you to hold firm in the next life, in the hereafter, in order for you to hold firm in the next life, you have to hold firm to Allah's deen in this life. 
ثَبَاتُ الدُّنْيَا In order for you to hold firm to Allah's deen in this life, you have to give your inner self no chance to say, You were doing good, why did you stop? You were doing good, why did you stop? You were doing good, why did you stop? Why? Because you never stop. Because every time you stopped, you got back on track. Every time you slacked off, you remember that verse in the Quran when Allah Azza wa Jal says, فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ وَمَنْ تَابَ مَعْكَ وَلَا تَطْغَوْا إِنَّهُ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ فَاسْتَقِمْ كَمَا أُمِرْتَ And you got back on track. And when you got back on track, you started doing good again. So you went up and down, up and down, up and down. We said that's normal. There is no problem with that. So every time you slack off, you have to get back on track. And remember this verse in the Quran where Allah Azza wa Jal says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها. Allah burdens not a single person beyond His scope. This is you, and this is your scope. This circle is your scope and you're in the middle of this circle. Allah's commands, His do's and don'ts are inside this circle. Allah will never command you to do anything beyond your scope. Outside the circle, anything that you can't do, He will never command you to do it. So whatever it was that you used to do and you stopped doing it, get back. Get back on track. If you used to pray Qiyam al -Layl, do it tonight, get back. If you used to pray Fajr on time in the Masjid, get back. If you used to be good to your parents and you're not anymore, get back. If you used to go to work on time and you were doing really good and you were sincere, get back. If you used to give lectures, give speeches uh, every week and every now and then, get back. If you used to give da'wah every time you see the people in the street, get back. If you used to remember Allah day and night when you wake up and when you sleep, get back, get back, get back on track. Get back on track and remember that Allah Azza wa Jal wants you to do good and He accepts you. He always accepts you. He will never reject you as long as you get back on track. He will accept you. And remember this. This is the last statement that I will leave you with. Work for your hereafter as if you're dying tonight. And work for your dunya as if you'll never die. Work for the hereafter as if you're leaving this dunya tonight. And work. For this dunya, as if you're never gonna die. Jazakumullahu khairan. See you next time. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.